Welcome to the Podness with Face, Pat, and Tiz. A Chick Fil A is having um, is facing backlash because it tried to recruit people to and, and um, to run the drive through and and pay them in sandwiches. They they re- they wanted to recruit volunteers, <laughs> and they will receive for five entrees per shift. Hey yo, how, how many hours do you got to work? Is it a shift? And a shift. Hours now, if it's like like five hours on God, I'll work that drive through for some sandwich. (laughs) That might just be the foodie in me, or the you know, (laughs) I don't don't know what it is, but I I'll I'll work a good five hours for some sandwiches. No, they said in the um, I go to face on purpose just to get points to go back to Chick fil A. Y'all seen that Will Smith apology video? I did. I refused to watch it. Stop it. So I just saw it on the uh, doc and was like, well, we're going to go with that. Because, uh, yeah. What y'all uh, doing? I ain't watch it. I ain't want to see Will apologize. <clears throat> Getting like, tired of niggas like, doing shit and apologizing for it when you know what you did was intentional. And like you said, man, you went up and purposely slapped the motherfucker. I ain't want to hear no apology. I, I was... I will say he did. They what they did is they did the videos. He straight up just they'll uh, pull up the questions. He'll say the questions, then he'll answer the basically answer the questions from the people. And I will say he he, he took accountability. I'll give him that. He took accountability for it or whatever. Cool. So so like he even admit. That uh, he apologized to Chris Rock, Chris Rock's mom, Tony Rock. Um, he said that the, what he did was ir- um, irreprehensible. Like he, that, he's not he's not expecting them to forgive him, so to speak, or whatever. But he he just wanted to say his piece, I believe, and just have some type of explanation or whatever. So he seems real actual remorseful for it like if it was anybody else i would say hey this is just their pr work or whatever but oh so Will Smith, saying, he's, so he saying seems it was real sincere huh so you're saying if it was boosie you wouldn't believe it lucy no nah, nah, i wouldn't believe anything I believe of an apology Boosie, oh no, i wouldn't believe uh, nothing i would say mr. this mr zuckerberg in the case of uh, one Wilbert Willard, what's uh, that name? Nigga named Willard. William. William. You think his name was William? Huh? I thought the nigga name was William. I don't know if it's, if that's the case. I'm pretty sure it's Willard. I, I might be wrong. I, I I was started reading this book, got halfway through it, and then I started reading a whole other book. So. Uh, I done kind of forgot it for certain pieces, but I feel like that nigga name was Willard. It is a character. Yeah. Name I remember it was something very different than what it might be William. I'm not sure. It is I'm, no, it is. I'm gonna call him Willard. Willard tonight. It's Willard. It's it's Willard Carroll Smith. Okay, I thought second. I would, I thought I won't trip it because I remember he had like a very different name, and that's why he shortened it's it. It's Willard. Yeah. Willard. 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 Yeah, really? Ooh, like a, sound like an off duty Viking. Um, <laughs> but I will say about Willard, <laughs> Willard the terrible. Um, what I will say about Willard is this I'm not a fan of the image of the apologetic black male, but I will say, mm. as far as <clears throat> teaching young people how to take accountability when they're wrong without like standing on some bullshit. I can say he, he did a master class of it. Now, what I will say is two parts of me on this though. No matter what, I respect the accountability that he did take. Like, I really do think like he, he apologized to the right people. He, uh, mm-hmm. 
he took accountability for the fact that he honestly just didn't have an explanation for certain shit. Like he he was very transparent. I, I can respect it. But I will say this on the elevator side of me, good job, Will. On the nigga side of me, though, good job, Will. But you ain't gonna get no answer back from Chris Rock till you uh call that man and offer him the fair one. Mm-hmm. Like, you owe him or one of his brothers at his choosing the fair one. Yeah. Like that that gotta happen before you can have any conversation. Like after an ass whooping has been rendered on one of either sides, but on a fair playing field, we can then move forward and talk. But I know me. I don't know what let, let me let me not put me in this because I ain't gonna lie to you. I would have knocked that nigga the fuck out. <laughs> yeah, right there on that damn stage. No. I would have I would have knocked the shit out of uh goddamn uh what is it? Uh, last Earth. I would have beat his ass back to Last Earth. <laughs> oh God! Like that would have went real. Very vengeful and petty man. I okay. might have that nigga with my, with my uh hard bottom shoe. He might have got choked out with a real bow tie. Like it, it, it was gonna go ugly though. Like it was gonna be at least a three piece thrown, and whether he hit the ground or not, immediate choking afterwards. Like you're gonna die, nigga, in front of everybody. And ain't nobody pulling me off your ass because my mama ain't here. Like, you are uh, that. I don't know if it's been said before, but I'm going to say it again. It's one, thing, it's one thing to strike a man or to close fist, but to slap a man, that's something totally different. You take yeah. a man from being a man and you lower that yeah. man's masculinity. You feel Telling me? that man you ain't a man. You, you, uh, yeah, I'd rather, I'd rather you punch me. Totally different. I'd rather you punch me. So, in the essence of being slapped, you've been disrespected on a total different level. So the the for a normal regular man, the, re- the repercussions of that are going to be dire. Yeah. Um, yeah. So I know these these men with all this money are trying to be black excellence and all this, but deep inside these black men still bros a black man who got slapped and slapped a person. So at the end of the day, you can be black excellence and try to be the role model and apologize and all this other shit. But like I said, I ain't trying to hit an apology. So I know they ain't really trying to hit that goddamn apology. At a certain I, point- I think the apology got to be like an off Motherfucker got to, you got to be an alpha I type shit. You feel me like, okay, let's meet up. Let me slap the fuck out you real quick. In front of somebody, in front of in front, in front of your wife. Let me slap the fuck out you in front of your wife. Something in that realm. And I know, I know Chris Rock. Like, I'm I don't know if Chris Rock married. I don't know if he got a significant other. I don't know nothing about that, but I know if he do, it was divorced. But it, I guarantee he fucking somebody, or was fucking somebody before that slap, and they seen that damn slap. I'm gonna almost guarantee that at this point, Chris Rock is probably dating a white woman on the low. And she, mm-hmm. white women are a lot more understanding of these things. He probably mm-hmm. got his dick sucked thoroughly that evening. Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm gonna just put that out there and just be real. Yeah, I, I'm pretty sure that that was the case. I'm pretty sure he went home that evening with a swole jaw, but it was no more swelling below the waist. I'm sure. I'm sure he got that <clears> when he got home. Yeah, he was Kimberly, they all this money. He's Kimberly, getting Haley. But I'm gonna say this. I'm gonna say this. Because Tiz, you said this months and months ago. And I you said this months and months ago, man. I want to vote that we stop talking about Will and motherfucking Jada once again. Cause Will brought their ass back into the spotlight with the slap. God damn it. That is I wanna get these motherfuckers back out the goddamn media until some more bullshit happen. (laughs) Get the ass back out the goddamn media, please. Please get the ass out the goddamn media. I know it's you know, another black mind, out there doing mind, some shit. I don't mind Will in the I don't media. like him under that spell. Is that I don't I don't, I don't like Will don't when he's going out doing adventure and shit, going when, out his boring when, shit. When Will is doing Will and he's being Will, I don't mind when Will's being Will. It's everybody else in the family that's extra. Will family. and Jazz and Jeff need a joke. Shit, they need they need a reality show. Will and Jazz and Jeff need an adventure, like a adventure show where they go and do different shit, man. Get Will back with his homeboy, man. Yeah, he do need some uh, masculine energy around him uh, in a major way right now. 
Yeah. And I don't, <laughs> I don't mean no weird shit, but like he need like his bros around him, like that really got his back, that care for him. Like he need, mm -hmm. need to reach back out to his roots. Sometimes you need to be around your partners, man, to get yourself with, to get yourself realigned in, in, in your head. You feel me? Sometimes you get so bogged down with the relationship shit and the bullshit of regular normal life and your life is set and you, you become so separated from the, the 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 normality of just being around your friends and shit that shit everything starts spiraling. We we'll got to that goddamn point where that spiral came to that tip and he popped the fuck off. But wow. right now he would never cut he would never recover a point where he needs some good time alone yeah. to himself, but he also needs some good time around people that can help build just him back up. You feel me? Some like-minded people who just want to be around him and just have fun. Don't want nothing from him. That part. Him. That, I mean, like some, good, some good people. Not people with no bad intentions. Not people like, yeah, you should go do this. No, nah, man. What what you want to <laughs> do, man? What, what, what's going on? Like, you want oh, you want to go do bad, go on this on, on, on this on this building. Oh, oh, okay. Shit, I'm down for it. Shit. I bet. Yeah, just go do some crazy shit with your friends, man. Like, like that, that type of shit. Cause like I felt his biggest, like he said it in the uh, apology. He he writes it in his book. His biggest like thing is like his need to have the approval of his peers, yeah. people around. Him. Yeah. So like he got to a place where he's not around people that he needs to please that don't want him to please them. Mm -hmm. Like for a minute, so he can like build his confidence up. It's a thing there, like he got to heal with that before he can be healthy for anybody relationship because he gonna continuously keep pointing the shit that night might not really and, and because of that he's gonna keep coming back to this place of feeling empty because he's giving his all to like spaces that may not necessarily be in a place to be symbiotic and I think we talked about mm -hmm. it like you know like once a relationship get parasitic like I don't care what type of relationship it is that shit gonna fail and he's a yeah. lot of those type of relationships where he's feeding into things that like are not necessarily giving him anything back. Mm -hmm. But come on, Will, get jiggy with it, man. Shit. Nah, 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 nah. Or at least call the men in black. When you need a lift, who's the cat in the drop? Yo, that Will Smith. Come on, man. The guy he defend us. Ta, 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 ta. Ooh. Come on, Will, man. Let me see you. Just Will, I don't really want you to rap. Just bounce with me. Just bounce. I don't want you to rap, no more. I just want you to make fly, movies. Fly, fly. <clears throat> now, everybody just walk with me. You don't have to make a rap song too. Take a walk with me. Either. Come on and make your network. Mm, 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 mm. Now freeze. <laughs> make your network. Yeah, I had to put that whistle out. You know why. Yes, please. <laughs> yes, please. Yes, please. It was a different time back in the 90s, my people. <laughs> it's always a bigger mix. <laughs> really different time. Real different. Extra different. <clears throat> but um, yeah, Will, um, be well. All right. Keep the rest of your family away from the media. Speak that. I'm sick of that table, okay? Weird ass fuckers. <laughs> table need to be canceled until further notice, man. Like, they need to get their shit in order. Yeah, y'all need to be a couch. Yeah, That's what y'all need. Y'all need to get your house in order. Like, I, I say that. Like, your house got to be in somewhere order for you to give advice on that shit. Hell, yeah. Final episode That's of the Red Table awesome. Talk. Like, how to fuck it up. But you, she keep giving advice on how to repair shit, but your shit ain't repaired. Like, you're not healed. You can't yeah. listen to advice from a motherfucker who giving advice in a situation that they fucked up in themselves. No, you can't. If they've gotten out of it. No, that that's what I said. They can't listen to them if they fucked up in the same situation themselves. Oh, agree. Agree. <clears throat> Unless they tell you to avoid. Where they like, hey, don't do that no more because uh, this shit got way worse. And to, but if to they that whole to tell you how to make it better, nigga, save yourself or you throw me to Ralph, my man. To that whole family go somewhere and talk to a doctor on a couch, they don't need to bring out a red table. They need to go just bring out the couch. The that final bring episode out the of the red table talk, they gonna invite Will back and he gonna take an ax to that damn table. Big fact. I hope a he does. Fiery ax. <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> 
Captain Cave. I don't know. That ain't having to do with an axe. I'm sorry. Yeah, it was better than what I was about to say. I thought the Dudley boy is going to come out and then they're going to put somebody through a table. <laughs> the red table. Yvonne! Yvonne! Get the table! Testify! Or whatever he did. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Nick I still don't understand how to. Motherfucker, I'd be slammed your ass through a fucking uh, Sunday school table. <laughs> That's all them shit was fucking Sunday school. That's all they were. Them the shit you yeah, eat the biscuit and drunk your juice to <laughs> you went upstairs to the vestibule and had church church. Jesus love me. Yes, I know. Table. That was where you, that was where you read the little the little pamphlets on God and then you mm-hmm. colored them afterwards. <laughs> Watching Veggie Tales. No. Man. We ain't had Veggie Tales, but yeah. Can I tell you something? 